They also have studies where moms who increase their fiber intake during pregnancy reduce the likelihood of their kids developing allergic diseases later on as well. What about kids taking antibiotics? Does that have a, when you're forming your gut microbiome at a young age, does that have a consequential impact? 100%. Antibiotics, uh, bottle feeding, and birth by cesarean section. And by the way, all of my kids were born by C-section. It's not what we wanted, but it's what happened. But those three things are associated with an impact on the microbiome and the immune system. And if you look downstream over the course of the first five years, increased risk of allergic diseases, increased risk of autoimmune diseases, increased risk of metabolic diseases. Because in the C-section, it, the baby didn't pass through the birth canal. The birth canal. And the birth canal would have given the baby some of the mother's microbiome. Yes. So, And then breastfeeding does the same. It gives the baby microbiome. Breastfeeding gives them access to mom's skin microbiome. Oh, okay. But also breast milk contains these things called HMOs, human milk oligosaccharides. It's quite fascinating to consider this. We evolved where mom's breast milk contains these things, human milk oligosaccharides. There's over 200 varieties. They have no nutritional value to the child directly. So why do we, why do we have them? Because they're prebiotic. So these human milk oligosaccharides in breast milk were basically designed to feed the developing baby microbiome. 